Alright, welcome everybody. This is video number 31. This is going to be about Lewis dot diagrams and valence electrons. So what are valence electrons? They are the outermost electrons on that very last end of the shell. They are the ones with the highest energy and the maximum amount of valence electrons you can have is eight. And pretty much every element out there lives for trying to make that outer shell eight. It is super important in chemical reactions. Those are the ones that actually get involved. All the other electrons inside really don't. So put a big star next to that in your notes. To find valence electrons, there is a trick that goes along with it. So if you have a periodic table handy, um, go ahead and look. So what you're gonna, say you picked a neon. What you would do is you go up to the top of the column and you look at the number next to the A and it's gonna say eight and that means everybody in that column has eight valence electrons. Now, the cool thing is about the trick is that it only works for the A's, so 1A, 2A, 3A, 4A, all of those. It doesn't work for the B's. The B's have a little more complicated process to figure that out. So to find the valence electrons, I want you to practice with five elements that I have here. Remember, the trick is to use the number next to the A. So I've got oxygen, magnesium, sodium, aluminum, and chlorine. So go ahead and put me on pause. Try to go find them. Okay, how did you do? Did you find out oxygen has six, magnesium has two, sodium has one, aluminum has three, and chlorine has seven? Thumbs up, how'd you do? All right, let's talk about Lewis dot diagrams. And there's a reason why I've been talking about valence electrons before we talk about this. So I want you to meet one of my old dead dudes. This is Gilbert Lewis. He was born in the uh, 1875 and died in 1946. Uh, so that was way before my lifetime. Uh, he was born, he's kind of a local guy, he's a New England guy, born right here in Massachusetts. He taught at Phillips Academy in Harvard, and he created the Lewis dot diagrams. So they look like the picture that you have here. First of all, it shows the element symbol. It doesn't show any energy levels or any rings or streets or anything around them. It doesn't care about the protons or neutron as well. And the only thing Lewis dot diagrams are really good for is they're good for reactions and bonding. They're really good to show you how things go together. This is going to become important in Unit 5. So Lewis electrons, only uh, they only show the valence electrons. Remember, those are the ones that I showed you on the outermost shell. Each dot you see in a Lewis dot diagram represents one valence electron. Remember the trick is to use the column, use the number next to the A. Now for any Lewis dot diagram, the minimum amount you can have is one and the maximum amount you can have is eight. So at the very most, you're only putting eight dots around your symbol. So how do you actually write a Lewis dot diagram? Well, first of all, you find the element symbol. Remember that can be a capital letter and a lower case. It could be um, one or two or even three. You determine the number of valence electrons, and then you put a dot around each one that represents a valence electron. And we do this in more of a square than a circle because it'll help you later on. So here's an example of carbon. Carbon has the symbol of C, and we know it has four valence electrons. So it's showing you um, four dots around carbon. So this would be a completed Lewis dot diagram. All right, now I'd like you to put me on pause and I want you to try. You try for sulfur and calcium. Okay, how did you do? Did you figure out sulfur has six? And did you figure out calcium has two? Now a lot of people ask me, Mrs. Burke, is there a certain way you have to write this? Um, and when I was taught, I was taught to go from three o'clock to 12 o'clock to nine o'clock to six o'clock. And you always write them in pairs. So think of it again more as a box, okay? So two on the side, two on the top, two on the other side, and two on the bottom. All right, summary. Uh, I want you to be able to define or describe valence electrons. Uh, tell me how to find the number of valence electrons using the periodic table. Make sure you know how to create a Lewis dot diagram. And who was Gilbert Lewis? Why is he in my old dead dude club? As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a very, very happy holiday. And as I will see you in class.